smoked off fish on what is going on guys today we are back with another video it is a freezing cold october day fall is officially here and we're gonna tell you guys everything the tools i use to get on and catch some of these shallow water walleyes in the fall super fun bite and it is definitely fall out the high today is like 33 degrees and we are gonna talk all about these guys right here finding them catching them and kind of a few different things i use to get on these fish in the fall and uh that's a beautiful fish right there and this came on one of my favorite little fall shallow water pitching jigs we're gonna talk all about that as well but once i get this guy off he wolfed it that's what we're doing today shallow water fall walleyes can't beat it got the lake to myself that's what falls all about right there oh he's a squirrely one let's let him go see you later buddy What is going on guys? We are back with another video today. It is cold, late fall has arrived. Water temps are absolutely tanking and uh, we're gonna be pitching some shallow water walleyes. One of my favorite things to do, um, just a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig in gold and a sucker minnow. But first I wanna say thank you to all you guys who bought the Embrace the Suck shirt. I realized that Embrace the Suck is not only a great saying for musky fishing, and I actually have mine on today, but it's a great saying for late fall fishing cold hands, cold boat rides, cold face, cold everything, uh, but fall fishing can be some of the best time of year. So if you guys wanna get the Embrace the Suck sweatshirt, um, it's linked down below. And I appreciate all you guys who wanna support this channel by buying apparel. So um, yeah, we're gonna be pitching some shallow water fall walleyes, one of my absolute favorite fall bites. And we're gonna kinda of go into basically the two tools that I like using the most, which one is side imaging, and the other one is an underwater camera, the Markham Pursuit HD. And uh, those are the two tools that I rely very heavily on when it comes to finding these fish. Cause generally finding them is the most challenging part when you're looking at shallow water fishing. So we're gonna go into that. We're gonna catch a few walleyes today. I've actually already been out for a couple hours and uh, yeah, the bite is not too bad. So stay tuned, let's get it done. There's one right there. And fish on. Definitely the right kind here. Or is it the right kind? Oh yeah, look at that. Right away to get things going. You're in my net, Surly. Watch out, Surly, you're in my net. We're gonna lose this fish. All right, there we go. Off in the net. That's how I like to get things going. Basically what you can see I did there is I was driving through this first spot, saw those fish, pitched out kind of before I even spot locked, just so I know I'm right on those fish. And then spot locked, obviously, kind of when I got right up wind from them. And uh, boom, just like that, fish on. And that is a perfect keeping size fish right there. We're gonna be letting them go today. That sun angle is probably awful, but uh, maybe we'll go like this. Beautiful Northern Wisconsin walleye right there. Let's catch a whole bunch more of those today. Side image, incredibly powerful tool. If you're gonna come doing this in the fall, or really anytime you're fishing for shallow water fish, man, that is amazing right there. See you later, dude. Oh, there's a bite right here. Fish on. Doesn't feel too bad. Another nice walleye here. I'll swing you around and boat flip you going this way. Look at that, Surly. Well, they're not biting crazy, and they're all kind of the same size so far today. But uh, hey, catching walleyes in the winter weather. <laughs> Fall has definitely arrived. It feels like we're gonna be ice fishing soon, which I am not mad about. There's about a 16 inch male. See you later, buddy. Catching them. Little gold 
quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig. You guys have seen me catch just a million fish on that little thing. One of my favorite, favorite colors. Awesome, then just a little sucker minnow on there. Pretty standard fall approach, pitching shallow at the weeds, looking at them on side imaging. Too much fun. My favorite way to catch them. Anytime you can catch walleye shallow, it is a lot of fun to me. And uh, I don't know what's so fun about it, but I always enjoy pitching stuff for shallow walleyes. We always get asked in every video, I feel like, how are you hooking the minnow? Some videos we show it, but basically all I'm doing is taking that, kind of opening the mouth up with the hook like this, right in and up through the skull. Then you kind of push it up over this wire keeper like this, and it stays on there very good. So side imaging is kind of the biggest tool when it comes to just finding fish in a large area or getting a good interpretation of what you're looking at. Um, there's also a, a tool I use, which is an underwater camera, which is kind of like the, it gives you all the answers you want that side imaging can, right? Um, the camera is the only way where you can a lot of times know for sure what's going on down there, right? And walleyes in the weeds, a lot of times there'll be more fish there than what you're marking on your graph. So one thing I'll do a lot is I'll come, especially when I'm on new water, I'll get into an area and maybe I mark a few fish and I, you know, if I check a few spots, I'm just kind of marking a few fish. One thing I'll do is drop the underwater camera down. And one camera, which I've been recently playing around with the last couple weeks here, is actually one of these smaller, like micro size cameras, is the Markup Pursuit HD. And I have been absolutely incredibly impressed with this thing. It comes in like this fold up case, but you can kind of take it out of the case to use it. It's got a five inch screen on it, I believe and uh, it is crystal clear and a lot of times this tells you what kind of weeds you're looking at like you can see here you definitely want to be looking for green living weeds in the fall a lot of these weeds will start dying off so you know if you're looking at weeds and you're just not seeing fish you drop that camera down and they're all brown and dead that's bad you want to be seeing nice green weeds something that looks like this right here so that's one great thing about this underwater camera the other one's obviously for seeing fish, right? Um, so if I mark a couple of fish, I drop this thing down, and I'm just like, you know, only seeing a couple fish, then it's, there's probably only a few fish there. But a lot of times I'll drop this thing down and eat on those spots where I just saw a few, and I'll kind of get this thing right up to that weed edge, and all of a sudden I'm seeing a whole bunch of walleyes, right? So it's an incredibly powerful tool. If you don't run an underwater camera, you should definitely get one if you spend a lot of time in a boat. It answers a lot of the questions that only an underwater camera could get. And this one's gonna be killer on the ice too. Um, I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. But it's so handy, it's so easy just to throw in a compartment. I charged this thing one time when I got it, and that was three weeks ago, <laughs> and it's still running. And probably the best thing about it, if you're somebody like me who likes to film a lot of their stuff, you could just put an SD card, a micro SD card, right into the underwater camera, and it records super easy. So there's not a huge drawn out process where you need a whole bunch of different pieces to record, like you used to with a lot of cameras. Um, but yeah, underwater camera, super powerful tool. I use it a lot. I don't always show it in a video that I'm using it, but pretty much almost you know, every few days I'm out, I end up using this, especially if I'm on new water. And uh, it, it definitely helps to show you kind of what's around and what those weeds are looking like, and obviously fish as well. There's a bite. Right next to the boat. Just a squirrely one. Man, they are pulling. This is like how Leech Lake walleyes fight. Not a super big one there. Nice keeper size though, if you were gonna keep some. And for a 15 incher, he's a squirrely one. The wind is just insane in this spot. There we go. Beautiful keeper size walleye right there. Pitching shallow on the jig. We'll take it. Get that, sir. And it's funny, sometimes you get these cold fronts and all your fish turn into the same size. 
big fish like stable weather and uh, a lot of the days you can tell you're fishing a big cold front um, and these fish are definitely affected by it when all your fish are kind of these 16 17 inch males but hey we'll take it catching them in the cold nothing big but if you're keeping fish it'd be a good uh good day for eaters and what you can see on my side imaging right here actually right here a bunch of fish kind of right off my right right now which is kind of right back in here so a lot of times you kind of hone in on a zone you just make cast after cast after cast after cast kind of that same pot of fish all right guys there are a couple different tools which i rely very heavily on to find shallow water walleyes in the fall the first one is side imaging it is the most important tool probably whenever you're fishing any kind of shallow water relating bite um, side imaging does a couple of things. Shows you what the, obviously the bottom looks like, what you're looking at, weeds, rocks, all that kind of stuff. Where the voids are or where the most character is in a spot. So a lot of times, like if we're talking about character, that's something I like to talk about a lot. Um, is kind of if you're driving down like a big weed flat, right? And there's kind of sparse weeds here, sparse weeds over here, sparse weeds over here, something that looks something like this. Um, and then you get into an area with these bigger, higher weeds, like this right here. That's your character in that spot, right? That's the, the, the generally going to be the spot on the spot. And uh, side imaging does a phenomenal job of showing you that. So I normally set mine at about 90 feet side to side. And uh, that kind of gives me a pretty good idea of what I'm looking at when I'm doing a lot of this shallow water stuff. If you're going to go even shallower than that, like four or five feet, you might want to crank it back a little bit because it's harder to get really good range um, in that shallow of water. So, but if most time, if you leave that thing 80 to 100 feet, you're pretty much going to be set. So, um, you know, obviously the other thing side imaging is great for is finding fish in these areas, right? And basically what I'm looking for today, I'm looking for a lot of screenshots that look something like this right here. Here you can see the weeds right here. You can see the walleye sitting right here. And a lot of these northern Wisconsin lakes, I've kind of talked about it before, or northern Minnesota lakes, uh, we just don't have walleye densities that are so dense where you're going to see like 100 fish on a spot, right? Most of the time it's 10, 15 fish, 5, 10 fish, somewhere right in there. And a lot of times they'll be sitting right on the edge like this. Um, and one big misinterpretation is that I think guys think of catching walleyes in the weeds and they think of the walleyes just jam-packed and tight this really of this really thick weed pocket when that's not the case at all. Most of the time what you see is you'll mark a whole bunch of good weeds and then on the edge of that, on the inside edge of that, on the side of that, in a void of those weeds, you'll see fish. So also another screenshot up right here. You can see these fish are clearly sitting on this void in the weeds and uh, a lot of times this time of year, in the fall when these fish get shallower and shallower especially if you got good wind that drives fish up shallow um, what you'll see you can even see fish on the inside edge and a lot of times you might go down a lot of the good weeds and you're like there's not fish here and uh, or maybe you see a couple fish and you're like where are the rest of the fish and a lot of times it's going like let's say you're fishing a lake that has a weed edge that goes from 8 to 10 feet that's kind of or 8 to 12 feet kind of like the lake I'm on today and a lot of times you catch those fish in 12 13 14 feet on that outside edge well a lot of times they'll also be fish on that inside edge in like eight to six feet of water right especially if you got some good wind or some overcast but wind is definitely the most important thing um, water temps are 52 degrees very cold outside today and these fish have no fear of running up into this in, in, into this inside shallower edge as long as you got good weeds now talking about fish and weed walleyes in the fall a lot of you know if you if you're fishing like more of a stand up lake where your weed edge is let's say two feet to six feet a lot of times that'll be a, a, a right on that outside edge in like six seven feet of water or if there's a void in the weeds they might be in there in five four feet of water too and we actually got just got done filming a thing on Winnebagosh last week and uh, we were fishing walleyes on a weed edge in four feet of water so um, you know winds the important thing it, it definitely keeps more fish up in the shallows if you have good wind all right, well that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It is cold, fall is here. Pretty much, I just looked at the two week forecast for my area and it's like highs in the 30s or low 40s and lows in the 20s every day. So fall's definitely here. I feel like we're gonna be on ice in like three weeks, who knows? Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Still plenty of time to get out and uh, catch some fall walleyes. The shallow water fall pitching thing is one of my absolute favorite bites every year. Ton of fun to fish. Normally the fish are active when they're up in shallow water. If you got wind, they're almost always gonna bite. So, and pretty simple really. 
jigging a plastic, jigging minnow. Um, jigging a minnow is obviously the safest, pretty much always effective route to go. And you guys have seen us catching a lot of fish on jigging minnow, as you guys probably are since it's fall. Um, but yeah, super productive, super fun way to fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing next. We might do some more musky stuff here in the next couple days. Not sure yet, um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more. If you're not yet, please subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.